You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 1035. Today's devotional is called Psalms 23. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Happy Friday, everybody. We made it to Friday. It's finally the weekend. Thank God we are here. I hope that your week was fun, that it was accomplishing, and I pray that your weekend is going to be full of fun, full of rest. We are finally in the summertime, so I hope that this weekend is going to be fun for you. But today's devotional is run by our girl, Rochelle Alessi. So Rochelle, take it away. Yes. Um, Today, as Friday, I wanted to end in a very simple note. And we're going to read a little bit more than usual. But I thought that with everything that we've been talking about and saying that the Word of God is really what we need, I didn't want to take this time to talk about what I think. So I just really want to read a verse and we'll make a few comments at the end. But we're actually going to read a full chapter. I'm sorry. And it's Psalm 23. And it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. Mm. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. Amen. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. Mm. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely... Your goodness and your love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And the reason why I wanted to read this is because in this verse, we really get to say that the Lord is our everything. Yeah. He gives us everything we need, and there's nothing that I could ever say or do that could change anybody, but the word of the Lord itself Mm. will do everything. Because of God, we lack nothing. Yeah. He leads us in quiet waters in the middle of storms. He says that in the darkest valley, we don't have to fear Mm. because He's going to comfort us. Amen. He prepares a table in the presence of our enemies and He anoints our head with oil Amen. and our cup overflows. Amen. So in the middle of anything hard, we are anointed and our cup is still overflowing. Yeah. And all the days of our life, God's goodness and mercy will follow us. Yeah. And we will dwell in Him forever. Amen. And um, I really don't have much else to say. No. Because I think this this verse says it all. And yeah. I just pray that today you let these words just wash over you. And you meditate yeah. on this verse day and night. Amen. Can you pray this out, Rochelle? Let's do it. Father God, we just want to take a moment to just thank you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for being our protector. Thank you for being our comforter. Thank you for being our shepherd. Thank you for leading us in quiet waters. Thank you for giving us everything that we need to do life right, Lord. And I just pray that you will continue to help us because we want to do things right, Lord, to honor you and to Mm -hmm. serve you, Father. And we just want to say we love you. Mm -hmm. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.